to be able to take advantage of the benefits that something like Card offers uh, for your clients. So what we want to show you uh, or what you want to be able to offer clients, and what I'm going to show you here is uh, how to actually you know, publish this to a live URL. So let's go, let's save this. And what you're going to see here are the four different actions that you can actually um, execute in this step, right? So the first is publish to a card URL. That's where this lives now. And that for many people is sufficient, you know, even if you're doing work for clients. In other words, you could just publish this to client name uh, dot card dot co, right? That's still a shit ton better than having something that resolves to Instagram's own, you know, kind of, you know, inner ecosystem, right? Where everything stays within the app. So now you're actually publishing to a card URL for your clients. Let's say, for an example, I wanted this to be um, Ian's new business. And now it's going to check and it's available. Of course it is, because there's not many Ian's in the world like myself. And there's also not many Ian's starting a new business on card. All right. So that's available. Let's say it was, you know, uh, Joe's Pizza. All right. It's going to check. Oh, that's not available. Right. So that's not surprising because there's clearly a Joe's Pizza who's using card. Let's use Jane's Pizza. I bet you that's going to be available. And it is, right? So you can publish this for your client on Jane's uh, pizza.card.co. All right, but that's not the best, um, you know, that's not the top level choice here. What is, is publishing to a custom domain, which is janespizza.com or joespizza.com or um, iansnewbusiness.com or, you know, fredsdesigns.com, right? Whatever, you know, or, or, or Joe's dental services or, you know, Bob's uh, financial uh, advisors or whatever it is, right? So it's this option here, published to a custom domain. So you can save as an online draft, which just keeps it within your card container. You can save as a template, which means you can reuse that from your uh, card templates whenever you want to publish a new site. This obviously is ideal for agencies and, and web designers who want to just quickly iterate on existing designs and then deliver those to new clients. You can publish it to a car URL like we just talked about, janespizza.car.co, or you can publish it to a custom domain, which would be Jane's Pizza, right? So this is the only step you need to finish, and that is you need to actually uh, fill in the custom domain, which means that your client or you needs to actually have the, you know, domain registered somewhere, somewhere like, um, you know, like domains.google.com or uh, GoDaddy or anything like that, right? So all you would do is, you know, you would add your root domain. So let's say it was ian.com. That's not a domain I own, but let's say it was my name, ian.com. And then you would essentially just put the, um, you know, the host records, you would have to modify them here. And it's not even really an hour. They say it'll take an hour. You also get an SSL. So you get a security uh, layer added to your card automatically. And then if you click on this here, it just walks you through the steps, which is really, really simple, right? So, you know, this is the series of steps that you're going to follow. And then they have specific, you know, instructions for each particular registrar. So if you go to GoDaddy, this is the process, right? Manage DNS. And then you're going into here. And then you're publishing changes back at card, right? Very, very simple. You just need to follow the instructions for each respective uh, registrar, I use Google Domains and GoDaddy. Actually, Google Domains is much cheaper. Uh, it's twelve dollars uh, per uh, you know .com renewal, and 
GoDaddy often has really good prices on, you know, the first year. But then like at this point, I'm paying like $19 or something. I think it's like $18.99 uh, per renewal, which when you have a ton of domains is a significant difference over Google. So this is the series of steps that you would add for, you know, Google, et cetera. Very, very easy. And it, you know, it, it, you would follow the same uh, sequence for wherever you're hosted or excuse me, wherever your, your domain or your client's domain is registered. Never heard of pork bun. Uh, I've never actually heard. Uh, I mean, I, you know, name.com is common name cheap. Uh, you know, enom is common. I'm not familiar with, I want my name pork bun or Gandhi.net, but it matters not. Um, you know, here's some other providers as well. They make this very, very easy. And all of the salient actions are done in this section here, right? So it's action, publish to a card, publish to a custom, save as a template, save as an online draft. And every time you save something, you're going to have this option here. So it's this little save icon, and then these options pop up. And your client would either, you would either do this for your client or your client would give you, or you would give them the instructions or you could just log into their account. I mean, I've done that and I don't really do this often, but like for my sister or like a good friend or whatever, I'll just log into their, you know, uh, GoDaddy account, let's say, and do it uh, myself. Okie doke, teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Again, this is a phenomenal time to be selling uh, Instagram style landing pages for clients using card simply because it's become so newsworthy over, you know, these last couple of days in April uh, that Instagram has now rolled out this competitor to, you know, their own uh, or to, or, or to these link tree link in bio style pages simply because, you know, it's, it's so, mm -hmm in demand, right? Mark Zuckerberg's own words were in this big release where that, you know, having the ability to customize the links in an Instagram uh, bio is amongst the most frequently uh, asked feature from folks who are using Instagram. You can take advantage of that and really kill it selling these sorts of services. Thanks so much. Again, if you're interested in joining our uh, full card course, you can sign up at the link below and it'll walk you through, you know, a whole bunch of unique and innovative ways of monetizing your, uh, you know, card business in ways that other people simply aren't teaching. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. And if you have questions, feel free to ask.